What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton and today we are on part 8 of my series on SQL and data analytics for beginners. So before we jump into anything, I want to talk a little bit about the home page that you'll see right here on Tableau. It should look something uh, relative, it should look like something relatively similar to what I have, however it depends on the version you were using. However, the user interface should pretty much stay the same. Um, now basically, before you do anything in the sense of visual analytics and building insights off your information, you need to specify to the software what information it needs to use. Um, so Tableau does pretty much what any standard software would do, it, and it asks you to use um, connect to some kind of data source. And the two types that there are is a file or server. And there's a, a variety of those types. So for example, the most predominant being an Excel file uh, or text file or the dozens that they offer um, in the sense of a file. Or you can connect to a server. Uh, now what's really cool is you guys might start saying Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL Server, and though we're not connected to a server, I just want to specify with you all, yes, you can connect with your PostgreSQL Server. So if you guys want to start you know, experimenting and connecting with that, that's more of an intermediate thing, and I'm not going to be covering that in this tutorial. However, you guys are welcome to go out and try and do that. So it's really fun. You can, you can utilize both of your skill sets and put them together. Um, however... What we're going to be doing uh, in this tutorial, or at least this portion for our data source, is something called the Sample Superstore uh, data source. And this is something that comes standard with Tableau. And it's a great sense of utilizing uh, the information that it provides and being able to use it in a broad range of tools and um, skill sets within Tableau. And it really will let us just jump right into it without any worries of having to input information or you know worry about something not working properly. So. It is an awesome, perfect example of a standard data set. So let's go ahead and simply just click on it, give it a second to run, and we should be ready to go. Okay, so once it's done for you guys, uh, I want to start covering the most basic thing that you guys can learn about in Tableau. And uh, I think this applies a lot with most visual softwares, but they make it very clear and easy to understand um, right off the bat. And that is the difference between dimensions and measures. So I know there's probably a lot on the screen. It might look a little overwhelming, but don't worry, guys. We're going to break through it, uh, and we're going to cover the most predominant important thing right off the bat. So what makes something uh, – you see all the different categories listed under dimensions and the different categories listed under measures. These are all uh, bits of information um, or columns and tables under uh, the data set that we're using. So for example, to help visualize it for you, uh, the table would be customer and the column would be customer name. Okay, so what makes them different though? What, what keeps these two in different categories? Well, you might notice off the bat, if you look at the little icons next to them, um, a lot of them are text-based values, meaning that they're either uh, text, they're either a string, or they're either a Boolean, meaning they're true or false values. Whereas if we look at measures, we see the hash mark, meaning that it's most likely a numerical value. So in most cases, guys, what you're going to find is that dimensions usually go on the column aspect, much like they would in a table. And the measures usually will go on the rows. And they're more of the numerical measures that are going to be on the y-axis. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we can do right off the bat in applying these. So what's really nice about Tableau is that we can go over here. Well, let's say, for example, we're going to do, uh, we want to see sales over time. So, of course, the value we're going to need for the column uh, in our dimension is order date. So we're just going to click on that. Okay. Now it's broken it out into years here. Before we even touch our measures, I want to draw uh, draw that out a little bit. I think that's a little, it's just going to be a really jagged line of the total sum of each year. Um, and I don't really want to do that. So let's go ahead and click right here. And instead of year, let's do week number. Okay. So it's still going to look kind of weird at first because we haven't applied our measure. And we're going to go ahead and double click on sales. And there we go. We've already produced a line chart that displays the information of sales over time. And we can see that there's you know some spikes from time to time. But generally speaking, uh, nowhere past 35,000. Uh, our normal peaks usually range from 25,000. Might be seasonal based, as we can tell. A lot of it usually spikes around October. Um, but yet, yeah, this is a very simple way of using both dimensions and measures and we can start to see our data come to life in this scenario so it's kind of the fun rewarding part and this is honestly just the beginning guys I'm gonna be showing you all all kinds of features and ways we can uh, 
specify our information to be displayed in a certain way. I'll be showing you all the different chart types and really getting our information to give us the uh, insights that we want. So anyways, you guys have just made your first chart in Tableau. We've got much more to cover and I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.